Hey guys. It's time to show off the new Viper VX buckle up plate carrier. <laughs> So guys, I'm pretty excited about this whole setup coming to me, so what I want to talk about first of all is what they are, I suppose. What they are are reproductions or imitations of other pieces of tactical equipment available on the market. So, so this little plate carrier is an imitation of the Warrior Assault Systems Recon plate carrier. Um, it's all the similarities there in terms of buckles, the removable molly panel on the front. Um, this little chest rig doofer, this isn't part of the play car, this is the new Viper VX chest rig. Now, this is basically a reproduction or an imitation of the Spiritus chest rig. And then we got a little dangler pouch. It's got them um, play a dangle to it anyway. So the reason on the play car, this will be on the front. I do as well of this, which is the Hilly Strategic D3 CRM reproduction. This does not fit on here. These kind of two middle prongs are a little bit wider than the ones that come with the Viper VX kit. So if you are looking to use something like that, you will have to file down the plastic on that kind of middle prong there. But we've got the Viper VX model on here. As you can see, I've actually buckled it into the plate carrier as well. So the actual chest rig clips on here and it clips on here as well. Now, that does mean that there's two little buckles in behind there. Can that be uncomfortable? Maybe. But as I'm standing right now, I don't feel. If you've ever owned a Viper play car before, you know that the inside of them is foam. The back, it's... um like a mesh material, I'll show you that in a bit. Shoulders did not need to be adjusted out of the box, which is kind of a big plus for me. Um, a lot of the, the JPC reproduction models that you see now, they, these kind of shoulder straps drop the play car so low. I know I see kids running around this thing hanging about on them, so the, the fact that this rides so high the way it should do, like a real play car, is automatically a plus for me. That's sitting right there where it should be. The overall fit is amazing. If it helps, I'm about six foot and kind of like a medium build, I suppose. So, like this is a, I did have to tighten the, the cummerbund a little bit, which is just like through a little velcro panel on the back, and then you can just tighten it just like you would like a JPC. So, instead of that being on the front where you pull the cummerbund around like that, you pull it around the back, and then that panel kind of covers it. So, it's, all you're doing is just buckling this thing in now, which is great. You just need to clip it in. There's no messed about trying to adjust it whenever you're putting it on the first time like just to get it sitting right not too tight not too too loose it is just perfect this little chest rig inside i have the viper vx quad smg inserts so these do house the nice little evo magazines pretty snugly i've been using these before i got this these i got these as soon as they come out pretty much but um these are perfect. Like you've seen there, re-indexing is pretty easy. And they're pretty snug in there, so... I have no problem. You may find that whenever you first get them, give it a little bit of a twist to get it back in if it, if it doesn't re-index straight away. But again, as you can see, pretty much going in. may snag a little bit, just give it a quick twist, and it goes. Sorted. About five pounds for the inserts. That's for nothing. If you wanted the, um, the Hilly Strategic, SMG inserts that would fit the EVO mags, you're talking like £20 for those alone. This is a quarter of the price and functions perfectly. Little micro chest rig, this is perfect. This is the tassel, it's got a little Velcro patch in there where you can store stuff. It's not as good as this. Let's face it, the Hilly Strategic has the pistol pouches on here. It has a zipper front panel as well. I prefer the zipper. Yes, it's something else that can malfunction or go wrong, but the Velcro is noisy and it can like snag and pull and stuff like that there. I just, I like the zip, but I can see why, I can see why they went with this instead. And I'm going to also, the Velcro multicam is really, really nice as well. Dangler pouch, like I said, Velcro, it's, 
it's not uh, it's not zipper or anything like that there. It does open from the top. A lot of the, the kind of dangler pouches will have like a zip along the front here, so as you can get in. Whereas you're, with this, you're having to kind of go in just below where the plate carrier sits. So yes, it is a little bit more awkward the way that they've designed it from like a top flap as opposed to like a front kind of flap. But saying that, for about fifteen pounds, this is pretty good. And as you know, it just kind of goes in beneath this. So it just kind of hangs in there. So you can buy this for JPCs and things as well. Um, the chest rig you can buy on its own. Just run it as a standard chest rig. Which, to be fair, it's pretty great. If you're looking like a really lightweight setup, this is perfect. Run along with a battle belt or something like that. Unbelievable. Just moving on to the side here. We've got the skeletonized cummerbund, as you would expect to see. Um, you see them quite frequently on like JPCs and things like that. These are perfect. They have the molly attachments there if you need them. But if not... They're very lightweight. And overall, this play car is very lightweight. The back, just like any play car, Molly. Um, like I said, the, lift, the back panel lifts up for some Velcro action um, if you want to be able to adjust this. So let me just take this off very quickly and we'll show you a quick walk around of the play car. And as you can see, pretty easy to take off. If you've ever had a Viper play car before, you know that they always kind of have this kind of material here. Very, very padded, and the insert for it, the actual plate insert, is very spongy. So, the pro for that, it's going to be malleable. It fits to your body, it's not going to be uncomfortable, it's kind of spongy, it, it feels nice. The con of that is that it wraps to your body, and it's going to get very, very warm in there. So, you do find that you do heat up a little bit in the Viper plate carriers because of that. But, you can change the the uh, plate inserts, as you can see in the bottom here, this all lifts up and you can pull this right out, no problem at all. So, put it back in there, good to go. Overall guys, what you're looking here is an option to save money while still getting that kind of style of plate car that you want. This is going to be retailing RRP about £90. If you visit UK Fall, UK, you'll be able to get this for just under £80. Obviously, it's an imitation of the Warrior Assault Systems Recon Plate Carrier. That retails about £150, so the difference in cost is quite substantial. I'm sure you appreciate not everyone just has £150 to throw just a plate carrier, really, um, without any of the attachments and things you got there. Whereas, if you look at this, you want to say £80 for this, £30 for this, £15 for this, you're still getting all of these three pieces, and maybe each an extra fibre for the inserts. Um, for less than you would even pay for the plate carrier alone. Um, you know, if you're really comparing it to the likes of the, um, the Spiritus Systems chest rig, you're talking about 150 to 200 pounds for that thing. Um, Dangler parts is not really a big deal. Obviously it's just another option that looks nice, kind of fits in nicely with this. It's a VX line as well, so it's designed to look cool along with this stuff. The Healy Strategic Flat Pack Backpack here, you could probably pick up a reproduction model for about 30 pounds. Realistically, it's not going to be the same quality as the, the real steel counterparts. The Spiritus chest rig is built incredibly well. Um, not to say that this isn't. Viper stuff is very reliable. I've run Viper stuff for many, many moons, but it's not going to have the same quality. Let's face it. Plate carrier, you know yourself. It's, it's not going to be the same quality. I've had a, a Warrior Salt Systems plate carrier very recently, and... That thing is rugged as hell. <laughs> and I bought it second hand, it had been used quite well, and it was still holding up like a beast. So this, we'll see how it goes over time. But in terms of the, the feeling of it, it's a very rugged material that they've used for it. These shoulder pads, there is padding in them. For this chest rig, I actually went down my way and bought some Viper shoulder pads, just to keep it, because obviously you know it's a thin surface area. You're weighing down quite a lot with the amount of stuff you're carrying in a backpack and a chest rig, especially one like this with a TRNR. These things are crazy heavy. But I needed to buy these. The fact that this comes with this pre installed, this padding, is fantastic. I cannot fault the shoulder pads on this whatsoever. Like I said, that kind of good surface area, rugged material. You know, there's not excess amount of shoulder material where that thing's hanging down off you and you know it's th this thing is built incredibly well designed incredibly well so yeah guys 
Imagine this is a JPC. This would be your kangaroo style punch. Lift this up. Little floppy bits. Put your floppy bits where you want them. Again, there you go, quick adjust. Put your Velcro where you want it. Slap it down. That's it adjusted. See, it's a fantastic system in my opinion. Again, it, the main reason why I prefer it is because with the buckle system, it retains the original size that you've set in the back. Compared to a JPC where you lift your kangaroo pouch, you've got the, the, the panels kind of velcroed in there and you have to kind of sit for about with them and it's a bit of hassle. So the fact that you can just do that at the back and buckle it in at the front is perfect. The fact that you can also then retain a chest rig system by buckling it to the chest rig itself or you know you can just you can just buckle it into the black car. It's up to you really but I like the fact that you can help retain this so it means if anything snags it's not going to pull that velcro wave off or this little elastic thing. Um, it's yeah, so overall I'm very impressed. I mean let, let's let's be realistic this is imitation wear so you're not getting the you know officially licensed you know designed originally by such and such kind of product. You, you're getting something that is just a reproduction model of it at a cheaper rate and obviously with you know reduction in quality and um, does that mean that the quality is bad hell no i, I don't see any faults with it whatsoever i'm gonna run it um, for quite a while now and see what kind of durability it has so it holds up I, I expect good things from this viper has some really good stuff at the minute this is probably one of my personal favorites you can just see how nice this thing is you got some other nifty little goodies. This micro dump pouch is just, for me, this is probably one of the coolest things in here. Um, I don't have a dump pouch, but the only thing that put me off a dump pouch in the past, they are very large, they take up a lot of space. The fact that this is so tiny and retractable, like this just, it, it makes it for me. So um, I'm gonna be using the dump pouch a lot more often now because of it. You know, you find in, even with the ones that roll up, they, they roll up, but they're still very wide, so they still take up that kind of space on your belt. And I run a, a low profile belt, so I don't like to use up a lot of space on it. So this is gonna be the perfect accessory for that. It's the finishing touch. So overall guys, I'm really impressed with all this stuff. I think it's fantastic. I think for the money that you're paying, I would consider it to be in the airsoft market above average. So there are cheaper options out there that will essentially do the same thing. Whenever it comes to like so the Evo though, whenever you're trying to find pouches and stuff out there, I know a lot of people um, struggle to, to find out what kind of pouches work best for them or what kind of uh, plate carriers and chest rigs and things out there are going to work best for them. So this is a pretty fantastic move by Viper. So um, I, like I said, if for an Evo user like myself, we got the likes of the sling, the chest rigs, the like dangler pouch, really handy. This little dump pouch again, like I said, this is probably one of my favourite things. So guys, if you see anything here that you like, go on over to ukfob.co.uk, use discount code RS5, get 5% off any of this stuff and anything else in store. Guys, thanks very much for watching, stay silent.